Is there anything when you started working and thinking about ecumenism that you might have thought would have happened by now? Well, at one time I was hoping that possibly we might have intercommunion yeah. with Rome. And in fact, as I go around from one place to another, or as I should, I should put it in the past tense, as I went around from one place to another, in some places the Roman Catholic priest or professor, whoever it was, warmly welcomed mm -hmm. me to receive. For instance, at the famous Abbey of Beck in France, mm -hmm. where Anselm once mm -hmm. taught, and at various other places. Uh, in, 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 I've been in places, in fact, in the United States, where it was almost embarrassing, the pressure that was put upon me to receive. You're kidding! I'm, I'm telling by you. By the truth. local Catholic priest? But by the, uh, let me say it was, uh, uh, the, place, the place I'm thinking of at the moment was a priory. It belonged oh. to a, uh -huh. a religious order. Uh -huh. They have a certain freedom the, yeah. which yeah. The parish priests don't True, have. true. So, but, uh, you know, I, I would say, well, are you sure I wouldn't be disturbing anyone? Oh, no. Sure. They would, as I said, they even put pressure on me. Other places I've gone to, and now I have adop adopted a kind of uh, protective way of speaking. Uh, the, the, they may invite me to go to Mass. Right. And I will say to them, no, just so that there's no confusion, mm -hmm. will you expect me to receive? Mm -hmm. And they'll be quite honest about it mm -hmm. and say, well, yes, we'd be very pleased. Or they might say, well, let me think about it because mm -hmm. some of our people mm -hmm. might be upset. Mm -hmm. And then one, one place they said to me, which was really very silly, if you come as a priest, we would rather you did not. So I said, don't you believe in the indelibility of priesthood in the Roman Church? Exactly. <laughs> I said, do, do I become a priest when I'm on a clerical collar? <laughs> so I, I, I'm astonished that people yeah. would ask that kind of question. Yeah. I do think it is a quite a personal way that different places are right. comfortable That's and others right. are not. And well, the point I is think the, the, cust the custom was growing. Yes. And we in the Anglican Church here often give communion to Roman Catholics right. because we have a great many French and continental Catholics yes. coming over. They yeah. come to the cathedral where I was yeah. a canon when I was yeah. teaching there. And uh, our congregation on a Sunday, which was always very large, was probably about 30% continentals. Yeah, huh. <laughs> so very Roman different. Catholics, they all came and took communion. But then, rather late in his episcopate, the Holy Father, John Paul II, who I think was indeed a holy man, mm -hmm. we're talking about making him a saint, he, for some reason or other, said he disapproved of this business of Catholics yeah. communicating in yeah. the Church of England and Anglicans communicating in Roman Catholic churches. So when the Pope says a thing like that, it it's a bit makes of a cold it very blast. Difficult. It really yes. cuts it off. And some people think his successor, Benedict XVI, is in the same mode, very conservative in these matters. 
I don't think so myself. I think there are signs that Benedict may very well open out and that this possibility of intercommunion mm. may, mm. may come along mm -hmm. sooner than most people think. Well, I went to hear Cardinal Casper speak in Princeton and he had a wonderful quote. He said, when Germans went to sleep on November 9th, 1989, they were dreaming that their children would walk through the Brandenburg Gate, little knowing that they would oh, yes, the next yes, day. And yes, I yes. think that we don't know where the breakthroughs no, will be. Right, um, right. Do you have any opinions about where in 50 years we might be, or do you think it's well crazy to speculate? I wouldn't worriedly want to yeah. commit myself to that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to know. And so many in, unexpected and intangible things come yeah. along. It could be quicker, could be later. Mm. And I, I was just uh, thinking this morning, People say, a week is a long time in politics. I'm inclined to say, a century is a short time <laughs> in religion. <laughs> Things are moving in a hundred years' time. Yeah. That's, that's quite fast in a way. I mean, the church has been around <laughs> for a couple of thousand years, and God willing, it will be around for a while yet. <laughs> And they happen in fits and spurts, and certainly what I read in Germany, the yearning for intercommunion is stronger that's than anywhere. Probably so true. That's, probably true. that's yes. got to weigh on the conscience of yes. a leader who sees the, the desire for it yes. and the holiness that's there. So. <laughs> Le mer,